Hey guys, I'm Grumpy Rabbit for me. You can call me GR Grumpy Rabbit or Renee. Welcome to Vacant Sky Volume 1 Contention Act 2. We finally did it. Now, a couple things. <laughs> One of them, I managed to fix the sound, at least for right now. So, there's that. So, without further ado, let's begin. Welcome to Act 2, Night Zero. Please save over your clear file now to complete the conversion process. So I decided that I kind of. How can I expect others to? I'll tell you in a bit. I can't trust myself. There are holes in my memory. I have dreams that aren't mine. When did everything start to unravel? When did I become a killer? No, I already know the answer. It all started on the night I died. That's when my story began. I'm writing this so that even if something happens to me, there'll be a record that the real me existed. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, one of the things that I decided to do was not show my face for a bit more, just until I can finally figure all this stuff out and I don't look like a complete dork. Found herbs, that should do it. I should hurry up and take these herbs to my father who is still manning the shop at the south end of the village. Eh, you know, it's just the way I want to do it right now. Anyways, let's get to the game. So we're playing as a young Zacris in his home village of Shabbity Babbity Ba. Ki Kiala. Oh. These names are complicated. And trust me, I've been places with extremely complicated names. Kiala, come back here. Go, there's this town. Near Little Bighorn. Serious, Father, somebody to bring you back. You have to catch him first. Oh, a little shit where the name was super super complicated and long we went to the post office and it was like you had to buy three postcards just to fit the name on there you know sis where are you what it's like having a sister or a brother for that matter i don't have one Siri. Boy, she had long hair. Alright, let's go look for my sister. Oh, fucking brat. Oh. Sorry I keep yawning, guys. I am sleepy. There you are, you little shit. There you are. <laughs> We've been looking all over for you. What are you doing all the way out here? I was leading you here. Leading me here? Why? Because it's romantic. Oh, God, slapper. Still going on about that? Is that what this is all about? Yep, so I'm gonna go home and help Mom out. You two can take your time. She can be such a handful of times. Oh, you don't 
have to pay any mind to anything she says. She's very imaginative. She's very thoughtful for her age, very fast, too. She loves to run and explore. She dreams of being a courier so that she can travel across the country and meet new people. It's so... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I skipped too early. There was a time when we were like that, too, you know. Probably something about living your life and being free or whatnot. Has the time already passed? Must one be a child to be devoted to the pursuit of a dream? Well, there comes a time when you have to face reality. If you spend your life chasing a dream they can never obtain, then you'll waste your life away without ever really living. Not every dream can come true. Come. Pff, fuck that. Is that so? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. You sound like you know from personal experience, Chris. Is there a dream you've had to give up on? Boy, look at that hair. It's so long and flowing. No, as it turns out, there's a certain dream that I still childishly cling to. You? Childish? Is it Chris? I can hardly imagine it, Mr. Serious. <laughs> there's a time and a place for everything. Childness included. Oh? And what might that place be? It's starting to get late. We should probably head back to the village. Would you care to join us for dinner? There's always plenty to go around. I'd love to. I'll race you back to town. Now who's the one who sounds childish? I can't sleep. Maybe I'll t go walk to the lake in the woods. Wow, it's so pretty here. That'd be nice for a bit. Living in a small little community. Except I like living in a city and being able to go out and explore and try all sorts of new things. Especially food. Holy shit, I love food. <laughs> Are we really going to have to leave home? We may. It all depends on whether or not the war comes to us. Aren't you afraid, in, afraid of leaving home behind? I don't want to live anywhere else. No matter what happens, you'd still have mom, dad, and me. As long as we have each other to rely on, there's nothing to be afraid of. Even if we have to live someplace far away, it won't change the fact that we're still family. Why do they want to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you. Leave it to your big brother to be sure of that. You're so brave. I wish I was as strong as you. I'm only strong because I have to be in order to protect mom, dad, and you. One day, when you find something precious to protect, you'll be strong too. Is very precious to you? That's not your business. To strike a nerve. Little bitch. Anyway, we should head back home pretty soon. Mother will be quite upset if she knows you've been sneaking out again. Can I stay out a little longer? Please? Oh, fine, but I'm not taking the fall for it this time. I never saw you. Right? Got it. Alright, dude, since YouTube has the limit on 10 minutes and we got our introduction and. little introduction part in here, I'm gonna have to end the video soon. Okay, yes. But I'll try to get as much to the end as I can right now. I'm sorry for leaving you out the chores. I don't think there's anything I can do to help. Of course you can. If you can't walk, that will be your legs. Climb up on my shoulders. But there are jobs here, Zacrees. We could use all the help we can get to build the village. I'm just going to call him Zach from now on. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, comment, whatever, thank you and goodbye.